we got to find a place for the students. It's a problem JSU President John Beeler took to the city of Jacksonville looking for help with its housing crisis. We've maximized that to the to the highest amount we can, but we're still uh, short. Short about 700 beds after a tornado hit the university back in March. Beeler says JSU already had a campus housing wait list of more than 200 students. The university is encouraging students who live nearby to stay with family and churches to host and adopt a student program to get kids in local homes. They go end up going somewhere else for a semester. They why not come back to us? Another solution, JSU asked the city council last night to temporarily suspend an ordinance limiting how many unrelated people can live together. We certainly want those people that started here, been here, made friends here to stay here. So, you know, hopefully we can find something to work. JSU's president estimated losing 700 students could have a multi-million dollar negative impact on area businesses and of course, the university. That's $7 million in tuition and fees that we don't have toward our budget, and it puts us in a really poor position. A costly problem for a university proving it's Jacksonville strong. We're up and running 100%, the same classes. We are Jack State and we are JSU proud. In Jacksonville, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.